Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be playing some kind of cheese deck So usually when you think the cheese you think the freeze and that's not gonna be any different in today's video We're gonna be playing a balloon freeze deck even drunker rule freeze deck Hated by many loved by some you know them gimmick by now and we're gonna start basically by attacking my opponent right off the bat because he has used his building which is as we all know the biggest counter uh, to balloon uh, by far my opponent will try to defend with the skeleton horde i don't think this is the correct response to a uh, flank unit my opponent will digress and i think i'm gonna just defend these twins and after that we're gonna launch another huge counter push because my opponent just feels it very pretty. We're gonna take one mortar shell. I don't think it's too bad. I'm gonna play a T-Rex to defend this actually because my opponent is yet to defend my push, which uh, out of the two incoming, I think my push is way more threatening and way harder to stop. With that being said, my opponent should be absolutely uh, aware of that. Uh, he absolutely cannot do anything in this position because even if he defends what he's, what's on his Viking Tower right now, I could have played uh, Balloon or Freeze or anything to just finish him off. So yeah, very casual game number one to start this video. Let's jump to game number two. And we're in a game number two once again against user with a, um, with a number, which is something that you... I've I hope you would never name yourself like that, but that's just the miracle of this game. If you don't uh, pick any nickname during creation of the account, you will be assigned this number and this number obviously is your uh, player ID. Actually, my opponent's attack will work out because I didn't have too good of a hand to defend. I'm gonna just set up another attack, let's see how it's gonna turn out. And yeah, if my opponent plays Bomberman, I'll have to forfeit this T-Rex, but if he doesn't, I'm gonna actually attack and see what happens. My opponent so far doesn't play anything, now he's gonna be playing Steelhammer and Apes, which is definitely not the most optimal way to deal with that. But we're gonna just play some Footman Keck to minimize the damage from the Apes. And with that being said, we pretty much got away with the crime because this attack should never be working, especially with me making a huge mistake, leaving the T-Rex tanking for the drunker and not a vice versa. I was just waiting for a one second, kind of hesitating on the decision uh, still. Yeah, so uh, right now we're gonna just use the Cyclone to stop these Bone Blasters. I think all in all, pretty reasonable decision. And he's gonna set up once again a Bomb Skeleton. I'm gonna set up Bomb Skeleton on my own, because honestly, why not? And if he plays uh, Super Ape, I absolutely will have no trouble by just playing Drunker, but he's gonna be playing Apes, so... Uh, pretty different card. I feel like I'm gonna drop a tower, which is absolutely not perfect, but at the same time... Yeah, we didn't trade well. Honestly, kinda have to admit, that was a skill issue on my part. Um, I'll have to counterplay on the opposite side to get some damage back. If not the tower, at least it should be a bit good. My opponent actually kinda shows that he doesn't have uh, great uh, answers to the uh, air things. And actually, I made a huge blunder. I should have taken this tower already. And uh, I, I didn't. I didn't take the tower right here. Because uh, because I froze too late and that's basically a blunder. So yeah, uh, we'll have to play for a quite a while right now. I'll probably just set up another drunker loon scenario and actually I messed it up once again because drunker should be going to before the balloon, but it doesn't really matter because he doesn't have the responses against the air. I'm gonna just get a freeze for banter and that should be the game right here. So very unfortunate for my opponent, he should be, I mean that's pretty much the reason why you should be carrying at least one anti-air uh, card in your deck at all times because if you don't, well even though Balloon is weak you still cannot ignore it, especially 
when your opponent has a drunker and freeze as well. So yeah, very nice advice more important to include an anti-air card in his deck. And with that being said, let's jump to game number three. And the next game of today's video will be against Fing with 550 Mels. Let's see if the Drunker can defeat the Gunner and the Swordsman that he played at the bridge first. Well, and it did. So now this is a very nice trade right here. I'm gonna play Bomb Scratching to counter the Steel Hammer. Obviously, I won't be able to counter the uh, Bomb Blaster that uh, went for the kill right here, but it is what it is. I'm gonna play Balloon just to get some counter play damage and. Uh, yeah, basically right now we are with the push and let's see what my opponent will actually do to stop it It looks like not much. I'm gonna go for a freeze Just try to get as much damage as possible and we get three hits, which is absolutely fabulous so I'm gonna play a mm, Footman kick right here to stop the swordsman. I believe I could have played it out uh, a bit better, but it doesn't really matter Obviously, we could have spent less, but yeah, he's gonna clean up with the gunner anyway. Let's just set up another defense. He's gonna get a steel hammer here. So let's just get a bomb skeleton on his gunner, because I think it's gonna be the best way we can defend. And actually, we will perfectly defend with the help of Cyclone, which is definitely the thing we need to do right now, because we have such a... Uh, damage advantage. He's gonna kill my bomb skeleton right away. He doesn't want to uh, play with any balloon shenanigans anymore. He has a fun hub though, so that's gonna be a, an excellent counter for him against my deck and I'll definitely have to defend very well from now on. I'm gonna play T-Rex and then I'm gonna follow that with a drunker. I hope it's gonna be enough because Fifth has <laughs> has proven me that he can deal a lot of damage. He's gonna play Gunner, which is like one of the best counters in the entire game uh, against uh, the T-Rex. I'm gonna play uh, Foot Monkey uh, right now because honestly, why not? And right now I'll have to actually Cyclone just to not receive the damage. And in this in this specific game, obviously my deck doesn't, uh, doesn't contain any big spell. So it's gonna be very tough for me to come back from a damage deficit uh, if I ever find myself in that kind of situation. So right now we'll just uh, have to uh, focus on never getting into that position at all. I'm gonna play Bomb Skeleton, I'm gonna play some Footman Keck to kill the Gunner. I think I'll have to play the Drunker as well, so it's gonna be a bit unfortunate. Unfortunately, as well, the bomb won't do us too much of a favor. I'm gonna play uh, Super Devil, try to basically defend everything. We got a Cyclone. Basically, with this kind of defense, I think my opponent cannot be uh, breaking through ever. So that's absolutely fine. Uh, he's gonna set up another Swordsman. Basically, right now, we've entered the stage of the game where my opponent will try to basically bridge spam me for eternity and if I defend I win. Right now he's actually gonna be counter playing so I'm gonna play Drunker here and I'm gonna absolutely miss which is not something I was expecting. So I'm gonna just go for the Balloon and pretty much hope that I'm gonna get away with this. So T-Rex obviously will die and I'm gonna just use a Freeze because he ran out of defenses and that's gonna be GG's nice plate. So I would say very sloppy game against Fink, but we've got an advantage from the early game and it was enough for us to remain on top till the end of the game. So very lucky for us. I think he actually had the matchup but kind of misplayed it in single. Had he known what we have, he would be way more careful and that's why this deck is very frustrating to lose because sometimes you just don't know the first couple of cards and because of that you may be already screwed. With that being said, we take it up and let's jump to the game number 4. And the next game of today's video will be against Kanchan who starts with Fifth as well as my previous opponent, but we're gonna just follow it up with the balloon instantly because I don't see a real reason why we shouldn't. I'm gonna play Freeze instantly 
just to get the damage from this balloon because he spent a lot of mana to stop this balloon and since he won't be stopping anyway we might as well just get a lot of damage out of it so pretty much very nice play from us getting the advantage as early as possible i'm gonna play junker to mitigate the damage from the oncoming pressure and my opponent i think will be just playing be playing viking bird spam which is traditionally considered his matchup but once again we got very lucky at the beginning so we'll try to basically not lose this advantage here i have to kind of take the damage from the ghost because obviously we didn't have the mana for the bomb skeleton he's gonna play a piercing archer which will be like a perfect uh, counter to a t-rex obviously it won't be like full health to counter push but i think it's gonna be more than enough uh, and oh no uh oh these twins connecting to my tower is not a good sign at least i know that he has no physical way of stopping this push unless he gets the viking and yeah i'll have to probably get a freeze down because at this point i kind of have to take this tower and let him to take mine and with that being said we're gonna enter the scenario i didn't want to enter ever which will be <coughs> a uh, one tower down uh, same side scenario where we kind of have to trade into each other anyway so yeah it's gonna be playing ghost i think the best play right now will be to play a uh, uh, t-rex and now the bomb skeleton obviously i offer him a lineup but if he goes for the lineup he will lose the map control or not actually he won't be losing a map control anytime soon in fact <coughs> he's gonna be having a lot of map control anyway uh, right now i think i'm gonna just go in and pretty much pray that this push works he can get a huge flying bomb right here but yeah i can get a huge freeze as well and yeah there's gonna be two hits i don't think it's still enough and it's absolutely not so my opponent will be having a blast right here and right now i think i actually have to play a cyclone because the twins is very very hard to stop if you don't have the uh, correct response and the my deck correct response is the drunker which i honestly would rather like save for the attack rather than defense that's why it's gonna be very tough for me he's he's using flying bomb and right now it's the perfect moment for me to go for the drunker and balloon i think i'm gonna just play a freeze and there's absolutely nothing that my opponent can do i'm gonna just leave a good game and my opponent rightfully so will be angry for losing this because obviously that was his matchup but managed to outplay him by basically playing drunker loon and freeze cheesy way to take the win but it is what it is we are playing cheese deck i'm not hiding it he put up a very nice fight and with that being said we're gonna jump to the last game of today's video and the last one game of today's video will be against bakinio who is for some reason with at i don't know anything about bakinio but maybe after this game he's gonna prove me that i have to update my knowledge so he's gonna actually go for the mortar first play which is kind of annoying for my deck because i don't have uh, any real response but at the same time i don't think it's too bad we're gonna play cyclone just to defend i hope that okay one bomb blaster will connect but outside from that no any real trouble also he goes for the mortar uh, so he gets one hit on the tower i don't think it was worth it for him at all he then goes for the shield skeletons which Honestly, I could have reacted to, but I think the better play will be to just let them go. Since this tower already has received a beating, we might as well just set up a bigger push on the opposite side. And so far, my opponent didn't impress me with uh, the air defense, so I might as well just try to abuse it as much as possible. I'm gonna delete these archers. Right now, I'm gonna ha be having a very huge push. Obviously, I'm hoping, yeah, there we go, that the T-Rex will help out with the cleaning of the Skeleton Horde. I'm gonna go for the Drunker 
to help the bomb skeleton to reach the tower and right now I think there's nothing better to do than just to play balloon since it's, the, since it's our win condition we might as well do it he's gonna play mortar which actually will go for the bomb skeleton I didn't expect that one and yeah I think my opponent yeah, will try one last ditch of effort to protect his viking tower but with freeze that's absolutely impossible gg's nice plate we're gonna take it up in the last game of today's video and yeah thank you for watching if you stayed till the end that was a very fun deck to try we've got uh, some fun games today with some uh, clutch wins with some cheeky wins you call it you name it either way that's my take on uh, drunk alone freeze and uh, let me down in the comments down below if you enjoy playing this deck, playing against this deck. I don't think anyone play enjoys playing against this deck because you can pretty much take the win at any time because Freeze is just this fun card that can pretty much ruin your game even though you're playing perfectly throughout the entire game anyway. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.